welcome back to my channel. Today I did a look that was inspired by Valentine's Day which will be coming in the next few days and I actually used for the eyes I used this palette which is Colourpop Oolong palette. This was inspired by one of my, if it's not my favorite, actually I have two favorite movies. Has to be The Devil Wears Prada and Mean Girls. So I did this look and I feel like Regina George will be so proud, it's so pink, it's you know, it's so out there. Even RuPaul's gonna be proud of this look, I think. But it's so out there but it's so pretty, so that's why I did it. And if you want to know how to create this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so you guys, let's start with the tutorial. So first, I have applied moisturizer all over my face and my neck. And next thing that I will use is um, this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer that um, I got. This is just a sample um, sample size, so it's not that big, but it's fine. Still, it's Smashbox, so I'm just gonna put this all over my face. I super love testers because I'm not really fond of buying full size. So, because I feel like sometimes it's just a waste of money to be spending it on big full sizes and you know, you're not even sure if you're gonna use that much. So, I like this um, primer since it really fills out my pores, makes my skin really smooth. I don't have my glasses on that's why I cannot see but I feel like it's super smooth so that is how it looks like when really applied After priming my face I will do my brows I'm gonna do it off camera and then let's start with the eyeshadow Okay, so I am done doing my brows. So anyways, I I will be using, um, this is just a newly purchased palette. Uh, this is actually the Oolala Colourpop palette. This was launched um, last year, 2018, on October 3rd. On October 3rd? He asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. So if you're a Mean Girl fan like me, you would know what is October 3rd. So if you can see it's very pink, um, the inspiration is Mean Girls. And here are the shades that is available on this palette. So Tickled, Soft Pour, Poodle, Big Sugar, Opulent, Sandbar, Trobe, um, Patty and Moonstruck. Now, if you took my only issue here is that if you took inspiration from Mean, uh, mean Girls, I would expect that you name a shade after Regina George or you name a shade with like Glen Coco. So, you know, that kind of um, iconic names from Mean Girls but uh, as far as I know there's another palette for Mean Girls which I am yet to get um, I'm not sure if I want to buy it um, I'm not uh, very very familiar with the brand so before I put on my eyeshadow I'm just gonna prime uh, my eyes using this uh, Laura eye primer again it's a tester so let me just put this so I'm done priming my eyes 
I've been wanting this since it has launched this specific palette, but you know, um, it takes time for uh, you know our resellers to have it here in the Philippines. I know that um, I can buy it off their website. I know that, but it's just for me, it's easier. I'm kind of addicted to Shopee, <laughs> so it's easier for me to purchase through Shopee. I was browsing, um, browsing palettes on Shopee, and I saw that uh, this specific palette was around um, around a thousand. Uh, that's the usual price for that. So when I encountered a store that uh, sells these for, I believe that was five hundred and sixty. I was like, damn, okay. So I checked out the I checked out the listing and the reason why the seller is selling this for a cheaper price is because some of the shades have been broken. Specifically those shimmer or glitter shades. So here's what it looks like. I'll post a picture of the of the palette what it's supposed to look like so this is what I got so if you can see there are three pants missing which is totally fine with me because these pants are consisting of glitter or shimmer shades um, what I'm actually uh, what I'm actually looking forward to are these shades right here so um poodle i like a uh, sandbar sandbar is so iconic regina george pink and also i like trove and caddy so this is such um uh, what's her name i'm janice i just can't imagine oh my god what's her name i'm janice Yeah, the person who called her Caddy. Oh my god. I'm so embarrassed not to remember her name because I've watched Mean Girls as soon as it's available on DVD. I've watched it countless times. I still watch it up to this date when I'm super stressed out and I feel like I need something to comfort me. I watch Mean Girls so it's making me mad so anyways the ones that I remember I'll tell you guys but it's the similar suit that she wore during the prom I, I swear to god it's this same color as the suit that she wore during the prom so I really love it so um, the shades are really really nice So let me just, by the way, let me just um, do some swatches. Let's start, of course, with um, soft core. So this is soft core. We have this one I really, really like. Um, this one is called Poodle. Kind of see the difference right here. And then... My next favorite has to be this one. I mean, oh my god. I'm so excited to do this pink. Okay, next up is one of the remaining or the only shade with glitter on it. Maybe I I've also seen like comments on um, this palette that it really does uh, when it gets shipped out it really does tend to get ruined the, the uh, glitter um, shades I'm not sure but maybe it's because how they pressed it or I don't know but anyways that's one of the issue with this palette so if you're gonna get it uh, if you're gonna get this you really have to be cautious 
um, since it tends to break. Okay, so next I'm gonna get opulent. Then I'm gonna go with Caddy. Oh my goodness, look at that purple. Okay, the last shade is going to be Trove. So this is um, more of a. I thought it was like dark, but. To be honest, it's not. It's just um, a muted fuchsia, I think. So these are the shades. I mean, who wouldn't die? Regina George will be proud. Anyways, let me just wipe my hands and then let's get started. So after priming my lids, I'm gonna go in with this shade which is um, called Soft Pour just to um, be like a base shade for my eyes. So this is what Soft Pour looks like as it is. It's Again, it's such a pretty color. I mean, I love everything in this palette. So I'm really glad that I was able to get that um, this palette for uh, that price, which is just $560. Um, so next that I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, this one called Poodle. So I'm going to go with Poodle. I'm just going to do like a really soft crease using that color to make it like a transition as a transition shade. I'm just going to use a big crease brush so this will uh, do a softer crease um, rather than using a smaller brush, uh, a smaller crease brush, it's going to make um, your crease more defined so since I just want it to be soft I just use this one so let me dive in with the shade Google load up my brush okay there's a little bit of kickback but it's not much so that's fine okay. all right Now using the shade Sandbar, I'm going to use a smaller crease brush to really define the crease. I mean, oh my god, look at that. Okay, so, oh, there's a lot of feedback on that. Okay, so I'm really actually afraid to put this because I feel like if you make a mistake, with this particular shade, it's like, goodbye, you're gonna do a reset. So, I'm just gonna do it right here. So kind of like, transition it from like the, um, kind of peachy pink to like, like hot pink into like the muted pink, which is the soft core. What you do is just do a small circular strokes for this one. So you kind of have to control what you put. So do not forget to extend it and kind of do a flick. As you can see. 
Okay, so we are done with Sandbar. I mean, oh my god, I can't stop like saying it's pretty. It's very pretty. So, to really um, exaggerate the crease, what I will do is that I'm gonna go in with the shade. Um, I'm thinking Kenny. Okay, so. Using this um, pencil shaped uh, eyeshadow brush. So, this is, I know, uh, from Marion Mod. I'm not sure if they still exist. But I bought this when I was in college. It's one of the first few brushes that I had um, when I was just starting to build my makeup kit. So, this is just around like what 200 I don't know where I got the 200 but when I was in college I just got like 60 pesos for my baton and I had to like save it so I and sometimes I don't eat so that's why I'm like kind of like thin but anyways so I'm just gonna dip in caddy So that's why I actually didn't put um, foundation first because I I thought there's gonna, there's gonna be like fallouts and stuff. So just to be on the safe side, I'd rather uh, do my foundation um, after I do my eyes, uh, specifically for looks that require so much color. So I just do not want to wipe out my foundation because there was like something that fell on my cheeks or something. So for this part, it's okay na to be messy. It doesn't require to be perfect at this time because na this is a cut crease and we're gonna this lower part right here we're gonna conceal it later so you really don't have to worry if you make mistakes like the over blend ka or something it's fine so I'm done blending um, caddy so what I will do next is that I'm gonna conceal uh, this part so we can put another layer of glitter so the glitter will not show up until you like put concealer on it or the shimmer is not going to show so what I'll do is that I'm going to get back with my Lorac eye primer using a small concealer brush I'm just going to put some on this brush used everything in this palette except for just one shade so what I'll do is that I'll put that on the outer corners So it's looking a little bit too uh, red for my taste, so I think that um, I need something to brighten it up a little bit. So 
so what I'll do is that I'll look for another shimmer shade. Um, since I don't have this on um, another lighter shimmer shade on this palette, what I'll do is that I'll just get my my detail make over metallics palette. So if you can see, there are a lot of um, shades that you can use, especially for the inner corners of your eyes. I feel like going for this one, Polux. It has the shimmer that we want then. So it immediately brighten up my eyes. Okay, so this is the eye look. I'm just going to um, do my liner and my my false lashes, and then we'll get back. I am done with the eyes. Let's see. So right now I'm gonna do my man is to use my foundation. So of course I'm still using um, L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. So I, this really lasts me my whole work hours so without even like um what do you call this um walking without touch-ups or anything like i usually do my makeup at around seven and i get home at around eight and that's when i take off my makeup sometimes mas matagal pa and it doesn't oil up, really. It really doesn't oil up. Kahit wala akong primer na ginagamit, it's, it doesn't. So by the way, I'm still using Kenya. So I just used it earlier when I took a bath. I try to remember to do it every week. Not as much as twice a week. Kasi parang... I don't know. I feel like my skin is already like soft and like again I have other products that I use on an every um, on a daily basis, so I don't feel like the need of exfoliating every week. But it depends on how your how your skin is. Depends on the matter. And sometimes I feel like. You know, skincare is such a task. It's just something that I really think of as an investment. Kasi medyo nakakapagod minsan eh. Like, you're always, always um, spending 30 minutes. Well, for me, personally, I spend 30 minutes doing my skincare. Kasi nga, ang dami kong pinapag. So, um, if you want to know what I use, uh, what products I use daily, Please let me know in the comment section. Okay. Alright, next I'm gonna use my Maybelline H Rewind Concealer to cover my under eyes. Okay, 
what I will do is that I will contour. So I'm just putting it above where the baking powder. To brush, I will use the highlighting powder to get rid of the powder that I put under my eyes. As for blush, I'm gonna use Bath and Wild Color Icon in Pearlescent Pink. So now this is the real shuckle. <coughs> Using the lipstick that goes with this look. Let's get this one. Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte in the shade Love. Let me see. If not, we're gonna wipe it off. lower lash line. So first I'm going to go with Chove. I'm going to seal off the look before I put in highlight. Do not forget to dry it before you put on your highlight because if you put on your highlight now, it's going to be chunk. So now that it's dry, I'm going to use my EB Advanced Glow Out Highlighter in the shade Candlelight. Where is my mirror? my final look for today I really love the pink so if you're gonna go to a Valentine's party or even JS proms I know um, February is the month for those you could use or you can do this look very flashy, very out there. It's to be honest, it's a bit like it's a bit drag, but again, you need a little drag in your life. So I'm really in love with this look. Oh my god! So this is my attempt with cut crease. I did not do um, the full on cut crease. I just it's like partial, it's just right up here and everything here is just like smoked out a little bit. So I really hope you enjoy this tutorial for today. It took me about two hours to do this look in real life because I really had to blend. The only way that these color will work is if you blend. So if you're you're brave enough then feel free to copy what I did um, and if you are if you try this look please do not hesitate to tag me please take a picture and then do not hesitate to tag me I'm in IG at Brandy Miller I'll 
link it on the description box.